All right, so we are in New Delhi right now. We are very excited because we are going on a food tour. And today we decided to pair up with the chef's tour again. We had such a good time in Kolkata because we thought that was just the best way to experience a new city. Today we're about to go meet with our guide and we're gonna check out New Delhi. Uh, try to find our tour guide now but we're right next to this amusement park that looks wild like my stomach hurts just watching this whoa are there people in that thing no do you see that oh, there okay are in all right so we're supposed to meet our tour guide in exit one which we're coming up right now so let the tour begin Yes. Yeah, this is Gajendra from my chef too. Gajendra? Oh. Yes. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. We're going to start the trip, which is like around three and a half to four hours. And we are going to cover around uh, 12 to 14 different food joints. Walking around like a lot of markets and some religious places. If you like, you can buy more as much as you want to eat. So shall we start? All right, so we are right at the front of Chandi Chok, which is one of the busiest and oldest streets in the area. We learned that the name actually means Moonlit Square. And that was because of the canal that used to be on the center. There was a reflection that would shine from the canal in the center. So these temples which you've seen, first red one is the Jain temple. Jain is a religion in India. The second one is a Hindu temple of Lord Shiva. So both the temples are very historical and old temple. The entire Chandni Chowk, this street, is divided in the big markets. And the beauty of these markets is that all these markets are in section. So starting from electronic, then we have the bicycle, jewelry, textile, spices, for almost everything. Just before the COVID, they start the restoration work now, where from morning 9 to evening 9, only the pedestrians and these bicycle rickshaws. The motorable vehicles are not allowed. The stone was started in 1884, running on the same place by the same family from a, that time to till right now. And we can see how they make the jelly beans. Made out of a very fine wheat flour, paste, and the draws in the butter. So it's, once it's fully baked, become brown. Then we put the sugar uh, liquid, which is the sugar and honey. Food is almost done, and we can tell people started lining up because it's almost ready to serve. Oh, it looks very rich. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, nice. oh, wow. It is like shining. <laughs> Alright, here's our first bite of jelly bee. Mmm. Oh, it's it's so syrupy and delicious. So I thought it would be hard, but it's not hard at all. The first coat of the outer layer is very crispy. It's like a, eating a caramelized apple in the outer part. But the dough is very, very soft. Wow. It does remind me of the funnel cake. Good, very rich. Ooh. Mm. When you bite into it, the syrup in the middle just bursts out. So they put this straight from the fried ghee right into the syrup. And I think it just soaked in all that syrup. I didn't expect that burst of sweetness. Oh, this is kind of dangerous because I, I think I could eat this whole thing by myself. <laughs> mm. Anything in your bag? Oh. Mm -hmm. Monkeys. We learned a Gurdwara is a Sikh place of worship. To enter, guests have to cover their hair and take off their shoes. So we're going to head into the temple and take a look inside. All right, so we're about to go into the temple. There's no photography or videography here, so we have to say goodbye. <laughs> The Gurdwara was beautiful. Afterwards, we got to tour the Langar, or community kitchen. The amazing thing about Sikh temples like this one is that no matter who you are, no matter what gender, religion, ethnicity, or age, you're welcome to come inside and enjoy a free, nourishing meal. 
So we're at the part of the temple where you can get food for yourself and you don't you can take as much as you want, just they don't waste food. And when they wash the dishes, the leftover food goes to feed the animals as well. So it's a good way to use food to reuse whatever's left. This kitchen serves thousands of people every single day. We were lucky enough to get the opportunity to tour the kitchen where we got to see the staff and volunteers prepare the food for the guests. We also found out that anyone can volunteer to help. So I was gonna try making some bread. Oh my gosh, let's see how this turns out. Thanks to these kind ladies, I learned how to roll my first roti. After a few tries, I got a bit better, but I'm sorry to whoever had to eat my lopsided ones. It was such a nice experience to visit a place that really represents community, where people meet and give back to others. So to us, learning about this gudwara and getting to help make food in the kitchens was definitely one of the best highlights of this day. All right, so we're at our second food spot right now. Our guide is picking up the food for us. So this is a white lentil dough with a tamarind sauce. Oh, so the, the texture is kind of a little bready, doughy. Oh, perfect. Mm. This is the white lentils. Mm -hmm. On the top of it, they sprinkle this black one you see. Mm -hmm. It's a mix of spices. After that, they put the yogurt and the tamarind sauce on the top. Uh, this is the food which is, will get a tangy or shower taste different mm. from the other food you find in, uh, in India. I have to mix it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to mix, mix it, it first. Everything, yogurt, tamarind sauce. All right, does that look good? Ooh, you weren't joking. You really taste the sour flavor right away. Mmm. Oh, is that cardamom on it? I mean, there is so many spices, not uh -huh. only cardamom. They have their own recipes mm. everywhere. Mm. Their treats right. secret, you can right. see. Mmm. Oh, there's um, different waves of flavor. Oh. It's a flavor bomb in your mouth, that's what I'll say. We're now heading towards one of the oldest streets in India. And you can tell it's packed with locals here, a lot of things going on. I see a lot of food stores, a lot of vendors. Oh, <laughs> we, 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 past it. we lost you. I was like, <laughs> the stone was started in 1872, running by the sixth generation. They have a variety of parathas. So the paratha is the Indian deep fried bread, filling in with the all different kind of the paneer like potato masala in it. All right, so we're at stop number three to get some parantha. And this street is actually named after this dish. And what's special about this one, it's fried. There's all sorts of fillings you can get. So we're going to give it a taste. Lassi, one each or? We love lassi. One each, one each yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the mint and coriander, the green peas and potatoes. There's the tamarind and banana, the pumpkin, dry potato, and the pickles. The I thought they were garlic. <laughs> no, it's banana. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to try the green chili first. It is steaming hot, and this is freshly fried in ghee. Mm. Oh, there's a nice crisp on the outside, and the inside has a little chili, but it's not overpowering at all. I'm going to try with a tamarind and banana. Oh, I love that. The tamarind sauce is nice and sweet. Is this spicy? Not really. I'm going to dip it in this green chutney sauce. Oh yeah, it is really, really fresh. And you're right, it's not too spicy. Mm. Oh, I love how each of the sauces has their own profile. So you get a little bit of everything. Here's the last seat. Mmm, milky and creamy, delicious yogurty drink. I love this drink. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. And I think this is only top three.
chili is spicy now. These chilies are occasionally every flavor you will find. Please, sometimes you get very spicy, or sometimes nothing. But if it's got spicy, the one small bite of like this is enough to burn you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I believe that. So this is the butter paneer masala, and then the chickpeas. Salad, but it's not for you guys because mostly people have the belly problem. And I'm gonna start some of the butter paneer. The roti is really fresh. You can see them baking it in the back and they just cook this and the butter on it is felicity. That is definitely my favorite thing we've had so far here. So they make it here. They don't make it, but they get very good quality of paneer. Like you go to the store, like the pieces of paneer you see always mostly very Thai, but here when they make it, mix with the all the curries, and you just break it like very easily. It's the so softness fun. of it. Right, right. Very different from the instant curry that I am used to eating in South Korea. Very, very flavorful. And having a really fresh roti on this side to eat it with, that just off the charts. It's really good. Here is. Another thing you can see, the panel tree and the sugar dots. So the panel trees are good for digestion. You can grab it. Actually, the first day we got here, they came over with a cup of this and we had never seen it. So we were like looking up, what is this? What do we do? And what do we do? What do we do with this? You, you have to come here. We are going to get more relaxed. That we are going to have the lemon soda. Oh, okay. Because in India, as an energy drink, especially in the hot summer, instead of uh, using like Coke, Pepsi, and that drinks, one is the masala tea, mm. and one is the lemon soda. Try to open it. Okay. Oh, it's it. like that. Oh. There's a glass ball. Oh, glass ball. Is that what it is? Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those Japanese sodas. The ramen. You poke it with a straw, you mean? Yeah, I think oh. so. Oh, well, no? you don't go in. But this is a pipe, <laughs> not like a solid thing. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's lemon soda? Yes. Oh, it's nicely carbonated. It's like lemonade but soda. I see the closest thing is Sprite, lemon flavor, but the lemon flavor comes out more natural. And so it's like a lemon tea that's carbonated. Delicious. Masala lemon soda. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, but with the, some spices in it. Uh, masala soda, you want to give it a try? Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. This has like a bunch of more layers. Salt, little bit of different seasoning. Much more complex when you add the spices in. Tastes a little bit like that other drink we had. Good. Oh. What the heck? It tastes a little bit like salt yeah. or kind of. Again, not sure. I prefer the lemon soda over this one. Do you prefer this over the lemon soda? Yes. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So we just finished our nice refreshments. So we're gonna head over to the spice market now, which I'm sure will be kind of a treat for the senses. So apparently this is the biggest spice market in Asia. I can already smell some spices. The section where we will go, uh -huh. where you will sneeze and cough. Oh. So we didn't even go to the spice shop yet, but there are so many the dates, so many nuts. There are so many street vendors. Oh. Oh. Straight from California, huh? From home, Good yeah. Moment. <laughs> so we're starting to get a little coffee with all the sweet spice spices. Oh, oh man. We are going to visit from inside. Okay. Into 
this little alleyway, you just get hit in the face. I'm not really that sensitive to smell usually, but man, this is on another <laughs> level. Like these stores you see, these are only for the chilies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it's old house, mm. built in 1938. So we were told that this building used to be partially residential building, but now has become a spice shop entirely. And I think I'm starting to understand why we don't see a lot of dogs in this part of the town either, because the spices are pretty strong. So I don't think dogs would like that. I can't believe you noticed that. I didn't notice that at all. One. That's the best one. Entirely, because obviously we have a hard time when you close the spice market. So we have a nice cup of tea to enjoy at the top with this really nice view. Normally we say like, Polish in the air, spices in the air. Mm. But this is the place you can say the air in the spices. <laughs> yes. Mm. More spices, less air, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the, another thing which we are going to have it. It's sweet. Oh. The boiled milk. Is wow. that pistachio in yeah. it? Yeah, oh. pistachio and almond mm. on the top. So it's a fresh milk, you start boiling it. When you boil for like more than an hour, two hours, you start getting thicker. Mm -hmm. When lots of milk stick on the bottom of the pot, there is a lot of cream on the top also. Mm. It tastes like somewhere between a cheese and a yogurt. Oh yeah, this is my type of dessert. <laughs> oh yeah, it definitely has that nice soft texture but has the crunch from the almonds and pistachio. I love the flavor. This is really good. So babe, what are we doing? All right, so we are at a location to try pan. Pan is the beetle leaf. They put some sugar and other things on it. We tasted the beetle leaf before, but we've never had it. The full pan experience. We use all different kinds of powders. This is silver and the saffron sauce. And the red color you see, you see thick uh, root powder. And this is rose and the uh, honey. Coconut powder, the masala, and then a cigarette. <laughs> wrap it. Now, they will put the silver on the top of it. Silver? This is silver. Oh, oh silver, right. When it comes to play. Uh, yeah. But I think you guys can try half half having it. Okay. Yes, yeah, half yeah. you can try and then remaining you can try. Okay. I, I think he added at least 20 things to this. I lost count after a while. Yeah. I... How big you can. Just hold it. <laughs> you got some silver on your, on your lips. <laughs> That's okay. Wow. It's like a punch in the face. Wow. I don't even have words. Ooh, that definitely that will wake you up. Imagine every spice you've ever heard of in one. I don't know if I like that, but it's definitely um, an experience for your palate. <laughs> Ooh, your turn. So not only spices, there are a lot of sauces in there. One bite. Yeah. You just chew it. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. There's <laughs> like a super strong minty menthol flavor in my mouth right now. That I would say was the most dominant flavor at the moment. There's also a little bit of sweet, sugary coated flavor. And this brown sauce is really strong. That's the paste which is uh, wood. So mm. the powder of that. This is the place where we are going to have the kachori. Kachori mm -hmm. the round thing you see. Normally samosas you know. Samosas in triangle. Yeah, yeah, samosas. Bread, but kachori is the in the round shape. The same layer is made out of very fine wheat flour. But in round shape, uh, samosas have potatoes and the kachori have the lentils. Ah, the pulses in. And it's come with the, some potato curry on the top. Ah. So if you want to see and make video, it's good, but it's fire. Spicy. Oh, spicy. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, listen. It doesn't look this spicy. Though. I hope it's not too spicy for you. Let's 
see. <laughs> Oh, it's not too spicy. Yeah, it's like a potato with um, a fried dough, a little bit of um, spicy sauce. It's pretty good, yeah. Mmm, I love the fried dough part. It's so crispy. <clears throat> but I can tell the sauce, if I eat it a little too much, it can get a little too spicy for my taste. Mm. It is spicier than the other dishes that we tried, but it's not like overly peppery. Mm. Oh wow, that kachori, I feel the heat. I wasn't feeling the spiciness in my mouth while I was eating, but afterwards, I, uh, that's when I started to feel the heat. Wow. Mm -hmm. He's making the cookies on this, his stall. Oh. On this. And he's making the heat of the charcoal. Mm. Oh, it crumbled. Shortbread cookie? What's the name of this one? It's called uh, Nan Katai. Nan Katai. There is many kind of the flour in it. It's a little hollow inside so you can get the whole crispy flavor when you bite into it. I think it would go really well with like a tea or coffee. Yes. Yeah, it would it's pair very really delicious well. with the tea. It's very good after having that kachori. Mm, ah. Yeah. Uh, dampens the heat a bit. We're going to have this one of the most delicious thing and especially in winter you can get it. Ah. Or ki chaat. And after having this you're not able to eat anything else. Very heavy. Is it heavy? No, it's very nice. <laughs> fresh milk, they take it and they grind it. When you grind the fresh milk for more than like hour, hour, 30 minutes, two hours, because of the winter and foggy days, you will get it more puffy cream on the top of it. Yes. And the saffron leaf mm -hmm. in the little water. They sprinkle the water onto the top so it's get yellowish. It can get melted. They have the two pots, so the below pot has the ice block. Oh, uh, okay. You can't really tell, but this is really, really light. I'm barely holding this up. Oh, it's like a milk creamy, a whipping cream almost. Milk flavor is very, very strong and I like it. It's very creamy, very dense flavor, a very light texture. Two big contrasts that I'm kind of like trying to comprehend right now. Mm. It melts in your mouth so fast like cotton candy almost. <laughs> I thought it would have more like a mousse texture, but it's lighter than that. It's like eating a cloud. Mm. All right, so we just finished our <laughs> so we just finished our food tour, and we had an amazing time. We are stuffed. Thank you so much to a chef's tour. Our guide was amazing. We're full and happy and we've learned so much today. I highly recommend this tour. You won't get this experience if you go by yourself. Please check out our description down below to see the links for the tour. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.